Hello, I'm David Domke. I'm chair of the communication department at the University of Washington. I like to do a set of conversations with faculty and alums and students just about things that are going on in the department or partnerships we have, research, teaching. We do these occasionally and they're called chats with the chair. I'd like to do one today with a colleague of mine, Leilani Nishime, who's an associate professor here in the Department of Communication. And I'm just going to ask her about some of her research and teaching and, and a community event that she's very involved in. So thanks, Leilani. Thanks for inviting me here. Absolutely. So you, you do research and teaching on Asian Americans and media, right? Yeah, that's right. What, what is that? What do you, what do you mean by that? <laughs> well, um, most of the work that I've done so far is interested in mainstream representations of Asian Americans, which um, I think for most people, they're, the question is, where are those images, mm -hmm. right? I, it's more characterized by the absence of Asian Americans. Um, so I'm interested in both a kind of, or I have been interested in uh, widespread stereotypes and the ways that um, Asian Americans have primarily been misrepresented in the mainstream media. But um, my work is really starting to turn a bit and I'm much more interested in subcultural production, so work that's produced by Asian Americans. Um, and not necessarily for Asian Americans, but that's probably their primary audience, who they're thinking of first when they're making those media products. So, um, you know, things like YouTube videos hmm. or uh, graphic novels I'm really interested in. So those kinds of um, subcultural um, pieces, I guess, media productions. Um, but what I'm involved in right now is the Seattle Asian American Film Festival, um, and it features independent films by and about Asian Americans. Hmm. When, when you say absence of representations, can you say a little bit more about that? Yeah. Well, um, I mean, I think if you say turn on the TV, which is probably the most widespread media that we have out there, um, it's very rare to see any Asian Americans, hmm. uh, especially in starring roles. Um, I recently read a study about um, Asian Americans, say, being on um, news stories, and they're almost entirely absent. So if you watch mm -hmm. Sunday news for a month, you probably wouldn't see any Asian American commentators. Um, but beyond that, even in fictional settings, you don't see very many Asian Americans. There's a, a show that debuted last night called Fresh Off the Boat. Uh, yeah. It's about an Asian American family. It's the second Asian American family sitcom ever, and there was 20 years in between this one and the last one. So it's uh, the representations just prim mostly just aren't there. I could ask you about that that show, but we'll <laughs> we'll move on past that, okay? Um, and why? So let me just take the next step. Though, why is that a problem to not uh, have those representations? Well. Um, I think the problem is, or what the way that people have been talking about it, and I think this is quite true, um, is something they often term um, symbolic annihilation. So there's a way that um, being part of the media, I think, in this country is a way of affirming that you belong there, hmm. of having your story be told. Um, and I think for a lot of Asian Americans, because they don't see themselves reflected up on the screen, it's hard for them to um, at least unconsciously to imagine themselves as being part of uh, U.S. society, being part of U.S. culture. Hmm. Okay. And has this been, this is, you do research on this, you also teach classes on this, right? Yeah. And do you find students are interested in this and in, in kind of trying to understand this or seeing themselves in, in this kind of process or what? I do see a lot of that. Um, so I teach an Asian American media class, it's about 100 students, and I'd say, mm, the majority of them are Asian American, so it's not all Asian American students. Um, but the Asian American students who are in that class, um, I often see them have these kinds of moments where hmm. they suddenly realize that there's these images that they've been seeing over and over again their whole lives and hadn't really recognized them maybe as stereotypes or hadn't really recognized the way they repeat the same kind of images over and over. So when we talk about it in class, I think they, they get really um, sort of emotional, I think, hmm. right? Because part of it's sad to realize mm -hmm. that they'd been unconsciously influenced by these images. But um, I also try to have parts of the class that are about these subculture productions. So for many of them, they also, um, it's really thrilling for them to see, reflect, see representations that are reflective of their actual lives rather than these kind of stereotypes. Hmm. I'm gonna ask you one more question then we'll talk about the film festival. So was this a body of work that you've always been interested in or was there a point in your life when you began to say like, this is, I wanna spend time studying and teaching about this? Yeah, it took actually a long time to get there. Um, I was, when I started uh, graduate school, I started in an English department and I 
I was interested in romantic poetry, so poetry of 17 and 1800s in Britain. Mm. Um, and it wasn't, I was in a graduate class where we were learning about um, Asian American literature. And that's where I got interested. I had always um, thought about Asian American literature as being secondary, as being not quite as good mm. um, as the classics. And it really kind of opened my eyes to thinking about different, different sorts of stories we might tell and how those different stories would be told in different kinds of ways, that we can't just use one kind of criteria to judge all different kinds of literature. Um, and then I think later, I've always been interested in visual culture. Mm. I never really saw it as part of my um, academic work until I started teaching. And that's, I found students really responded to visual culture. Mm. And so that made me be more motivated. I felt like if when I start talking about TV, when I start talking about film, it seems like people light up, they get really excited about it. And it felt like I was able to communicate with people better through those medium. Hmm. Okay. The Seattle Asian American Film Festival um, in town here, what is your connection with them? And what is the, what are the goals of this film festival? Uh, so the idea was the film festival was came out of this, I, this fact, right, that Asian Americans aren't out there um, very much in visual media and wanting to hear other kinds of stories that when we do see Asian Americans in mainstream media, they're almost always the same kind of roles. Um, and to see there's this huge variety of the way that people live, sure. uh, that Asian Americans live, and we just don't see it up on the screen. So we wanted to give a chance to, to, for people to see that and to give a chance for the filmmakers to get their voices out there. So a large part of the festival is inviting the filmmakers to come to the festival. They do Q&As, and they meet each other. Um, and hmm. they sort of connect up with each other. They do collaborations with each other. Um, and so part of it is also trying to foster this kind of community. So. Um, the, I first got involved with it because there is a graduate student in our department who has since graduated, um, who's one of the directors of it. And she was, works with um, another partner, so there's uh, their co-directors, um, Kevin Bang. And Kevin Bang was an uh, undergraduate comm major. So okay. this is calm through and through the, <laughs> the um, entire a festival, I think. Now, is the festival located in a certain like building or a certain place, or is it all over town? How does it work? Um, well, this year it's at the Northwell F Northwest Film Forum, mm -hmm. which is in Capitol Hill. Uh, but we've moved it around from year to year. We're, um, we're a shoestring operation. Um, so Vanessa Au and Kevin Bang, who are their co-directors, um, they are just tireless workers, uh, but they both have day jobs. They both, uh -huh. you know, work in serious careers. And so this is the things they do in the evenings on the weekends. And so it's all volunteer labor and we don't have a whole lot of money. And what's the, uh, what's the, what's the, um, the measure of success for, I mean, like if, yeah. if you were saying to someone who might give money to support you or something, what's, what's a measure of success for you? Well, um, attendance. So, and just about every year we've sold out our seats. Oh, really? Yeah, so um, for, not for every single screening, but for most of them. Um, so yeah, attendance is a big one. Uh, the other big one is having a variety of stories. So when we pick our films, you know, part of it is we want to pick films that people want to see that are well made. Um, but we'll often pick some movies that we know it's our you know, it's going to be a narrow audience, or it's going to be people who are really um, particularly interested in this issue, or are people who are normally left out of that story. And so it may not have that kind of broad appeal. So we'll often have um, maybe a series of shorts that are for free, so that anyone who wants to can come see it. Um, and they will often be these mm. kinds of stories that are difficult, that are challenging for people to hear. Mm. But we think it's important for people to hear those stories anyways. Mm. Is Seattle a place I mean, demographically or culturally, in which uh, a film festival like this is, is a well, I mean, it seems like a logical place to have yeah. it. Oh yeah, I mean, this is a real film town. There's so many different kinds of film festivals going on. People get excited about it. So I think that's part of it, that kind of film culture. But um, I really find that the Asian American community is just hungry for it. I mm. mean, the response that we've been getting, the number of volunteers that we get, the people coming to the movies, the conversations that we have afterwards, the lobbies stay full before and after the movies for people excited mm. and want to talk to each other about what they've just seen on the screen. So I think um, it's a, you know, we have a, we have a pretty decent sized Asian American population here. Um, and there, there hasn't been something like this that can serve them. Hmm. Okay, last question. Um, so, how, do, when you're a professor here at the University of Washington, this is a community event, the Seattle Asian American Film Festival. I mean, do you see these two as like 
this is part of the whole package of the work that you do? Like, yeah. if you're going to do the research and the teaching, you should, how do you see these connected? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, part of it, it, I get this question all the time from students, right? So I spend a lot of time talking about the problems with media. Um, and I almost always have a student says, well, what are the solutions? What can we do? Mm. Um, and so I feel like this is part of that kind of solution. Um, and I find it so many connections with what I teach in class. So I'm teaching a class right now on um, race, ethnicity, and gender in the media. Um, and we talk about uh, how, how media gets produced. And so I was able to um, film a segment, it's an online class, I was able to film a segment at the film festival and mm -hmm. talk about how films get distributed and um, how films get made. I mean, we I have a filmmaker sitting right there who you know, charged his credit cards to the limit in order to make a movie. Uh, uh -huh. And to show, you know, that's really different. You're gonna get a different kind of movie out of that than something that's gonna be financed by some huge multinational corporation. Wow. That's, it. That's really interesting. Yeah. Okay. When does the film festival occur this year? It's going to be February 12th through the 15th, um, and it's at the Northwest Film Forum. And if you go to Seattle Asian American Film Festival, um, if you type that into Google search, this is what will come up, and you can buy tickets online. Okay. Great. Um, well, thank you so much. Yeah. I'm David Donkey. I'm chair of the Communication Department at the University of Washington. This has been a chat with the chair with a colleague of mine, Leilani Nishime. Um, one of the many, many good things that we're doing around here, it's always fun for me to learn about these a bit more. Thank you for joining us today. Good day.